Hello, I'm back, and as promised, um, I am here with the official release of the Evasion iOS 7 jailbreak. Um, yes, it has become available today. It will work on all iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, iPad Mini models running iOS 7 through iOS 7.0.4. And you will get here from going to www envasi0n.com e that's edward victor alpha sam india zero nancy.com uh, to download it you do not click on download now because that will bring you to an ad you will choose one of the official mirrors uh, if you are a Mac user, you have a link for that. If you are a Windows user, which I am, I'm running Windows 7 on this computer, you will choose the Windows Mirror. Uh, just be forewarned that uh, Cydia itself, which is the main portion of a uh, point of jailbreaking your device, is not really quite ready for prime time as of the date of this video, December 22nd, 2013. So you're going to find that a lot of tweaks on the City apps are not actually going to be fully up to date and functional just yet um, until he's had time to come up with further updates. Um, and that comes from the actual creator of uh, uh, Cydia. Jason uh, J. Freeman, Surek, you can follow him on Twitter. Uh, as of now, he has Winterboard working, which allows you to do different themes and whatnot. Um, so, anyway, so if you already have a jailbroken device and you have important tweaks in there that you're using on a regular basis, you might want to hold off for now on bumping up to iOS 7 and doing this jailbreak, at least for the next couple of weeks, give him a chance to. Uh, get Cydia all updated. Um, so in the meanwhile, for those of you who wish to be early adopters, um, this is the untethered jailbreak. I am going to go from start to finish downloading the uh, jailbreak and installing it so you can see how long it takes from start to finish on my iPhone 5, um, which I just uh, restored in the latest version of iTunes. I put iOS uh, 7.0.4 on here and I'll show you the process. Uh, first things first is you need to have the current version of iTunes on your computer and your iPhone needs to be visible within iTunes. You will know that because if your iPhone is visible on iTunes you will have an iPhone icon. If you don't see that icon there, it's iTunes is not seeing your phone for some reason. You might just simply want to uninstall and re or reinstall uh, the latest build of uh, iTunes. Uh, so once you know that you can see your uh, iPhone there, um, also make sure that your iPhone does not have a pass lock. If you have a pass lock, remove it because that will cause problems with the jailbreaking process. You can remove the pass lock by going to settings, general, and then pass lock and uh, entering in your uh, info there. So. It would be under settings and then the general section. And if you had a pass lock enabled, um, it would say on. You'd tap there and you'd enter the current pass lock and then you'd go into it and just do disable. Uh, so let me uh, show you what the mirror looks like now for the Windows install. I would click over here. Uh, then I would click uh, download. I'm in Firefox and by default when I download something it goes to the download folder under my documents so I've already downloaded it and if I click on this down over here I can see my download history that's the file name when you open the file name you have a readme file which gives you some precautions um, among them if the jailbreak process should freeze while you are running it just simply uh, press and hold the power and home button together until your device restarts and then just restart the process again. It should sort you out. Um, 
so let us me run this for the first time. I'm just going to drag this file out onto my desktop and run it. I don't probably even really need to do that. You know what? I'm just going to double click on the file and I'm going to just choose run. And welcome evasion 7 is an untethered jailbreak for iOS 7 meaning that if you needed to reboot your device for some reason it doesn't need to be reconnected to your computer in order to maintain the jailbreak. Uh, so anyway uh, please make a backup of your device before applying the jailbreak which is common sense should anything go wrong with the jailbreak process you can always restore an iTunes and your device will be back as it was before and you can restart the process again uh, so anyway I'm going to click on jailbreak and then I will, and I will hold my device up here so you can see if there are any status messages that come up on the iPhone screen while it's running and exactly how long this process takes. It's currently 9.25. Let's see how long this takes. And of course this is plugged into my computer right now through my lightning cable. So far, I don't see anything on the screen of my iPhone itself. So I don't know if there's something going on in the background or anything. But let's just wait and see what happens here. It says that it's rebooting my device although I don't see the logo or anything I'm not going to touch alright I just heard the notification there it says to continue, please unlock the device and tap the new evasion uh, icon. Let me unlock. Let me see if I can find this evasion icon. Just give me a moment while I try to find the evasion 7 icon. Uh, here we go. Evasion 7. Let me tap that. To continue, please unlock your device. Of course, <clears throat> I will need to wait until it reboots. Unlock. It says modifying root FS, that root file system. Rebooting device done. So there is a third reboot here. That's it. Pretty 
simple and straightforward jailbreaking process. Um, certainly simpler than uh, jailbreaking using uh, Red Snow for those particular types of jailbreaks. Yeah. So uh, let's see what happens when this starts up. Let's see if my city icon is there. So since I started this process, it's been about five minutes from now. Five, six minutes. And I have Cydia. Cydia is an app store that you use to download weeks and other programs that is not necessarily Apple approved. So let's run Cydia for the first time. If my uh, phone will choose to respond. Oh, there we go. My phone was lagging a bit. Preparing filing system. Cydia will exit when complete. And yet another reboot. <sighs> Let's go back to City again. I'm just going to choose User. It says, Who are you? You can always change these options later. But for most people, you're going to choose User. So settings and manage tab and sources. The choice can be changed from settings under the manage tab on iPhone and iPod Touch or the sources tab. So that shows user and done. I'm not looking to do anything fancy on here. Welcome to Cydia. Now, if you were a previous Cydia user and purchased items, your purchases are linked under Manage Account. And I use my Facebook account to manage it, so um, it will restore any purchases that I made um, from Cydia. So, anyway, let's look at sections, changes. Manage packages. This is you go to sources and you'd add some sources to add fun programs like UDID Faker. You can watch my videos on doing that. Although not quite as many programs work with it as they used to. And uh, let's look at uh, upgrading and jailbreaking help. See what he says now. He doesn't have any notes yet about the iOS 7 jailbreak. Because it just came out. And if you're watching today, you'll be one of the first to have it. So, home. And, uh, alright, anyway, that's about it. I hope this video was helpful to you. 
and uh, please like and subscribe and best of luck with your newly jailbroken iDevice.